Okay, so this is a little warmer. A little easier to show this to you in here instead of uh, dragging everything out in the snow or trying to show you up under the hammock. But um, I'll try to keep a good enough distance from everything so that, uh, that you can see it. This uh, green part down here at the bottom, there's actually a, a, a sleeping pad, full length sleeping pad that's in there. I think it's a big Agnes and it's molded in the same shape as the mummy sleeping bag that's above it. <clears throat> and it's uh, actually inside uh, an old sheet that uh, Angie had sewn some straps on and some buttons on so that it can attach to the bottom of the sleeping bag so that the sleeping bag doesn't constantly come off of the sleeping pad kind of holds those two together <clears throat> the uh, sleeping bag there the mummy is a 20 degree just kind of a, a dick sporting good kind of a summer bag really maybe three season but um, the heart of the system is really this blue top quilt here that's a zero degree down quilt that is from um, hammock gear in Columbus and uh, big shout out to them. They make excellent stuff and I always like to try to buy stuff local if I can. Especially the guys that do it in the garage that uh, they make excellent quality. They just don't have millions of dollars for advertising. So here's a little free advertising for you. But um, I did have the, the zero degree quilt on top of the other sleeping bag. <clears throat> the reason that I have that sleeping bag, one of the biggest ones, is because of that uh, the head set up here so that I can tuck in underneath here um, and then pull that quilt up right under my chin to close myself in. I did, like I said, have it on top of here, but um, just didn't seem to be working that well. So a couple modifications that I made was I put that quilt inside that foot box of the other sleeping bag. And I also put uh, my feet in a stuff sack from one of the sleeping bags. So uh, it held that, uh, held that heat in. My feet stayed really toasty. Um, the cold really wasn't an issue other than the, the condensation. The comfort level wasn't great with that uh, cheap 30 degree bag underneath the bottom but if i had purchased um, an under quilt from hammock gear like the zero degree incubator or something like that then that would have been a completely different story you'll see that blue uh, quilt that's in the center of that red sleeping bag right there that was my prevention from cbs which is cold butt syndrome you know so much of your pressure goes down into your butt when you're in a hammock the it can get cold easily so i had one of these zero or uh, one of these uh down quilts 20 bucks from costco i mean i don't know how in the world you beat that hopefully it wasn't uh made by plucking live feathers from a duck in some sweatshop somewhere but uh, for 20 bucks, that worked perfectly and um, alleviated that cold spell there. So that's the that's sleeping system other than the under quilt that you saw, that homemade that was on the quilt before. So <clears throat> I'm going to let this stuff start airing out and I'm going to go out and break down the rest of the tarp and uh, make some more breakfast.